All right, it was a big disappointment for the Saudis when you're waiting for your RSVPs and then you hear from the United States top economic representative he's not going to be showing. Obviously, it was drawing to the Saudis because they were hoping uh, that a top representative of the administration would be there. Now, not there. Um, that sent stocks cascading for a while. We're well off our lows, though, still down a lot. Charlie Gasparino here. On, on the impact this is having. I mean, this is going to have an impact on Wall Street because even though all these major Wall Street CEOs, Jamie Dimon, Larry Fink, Jamie Dimon, J.P. Right. Morgan Chase, Larry Fink of BlackRock, Steve Schwartzman of Blackstone, they were all said they're not going uh, after the journalist Khashoggi was obviously murdered in that, in that uh, the Turkish uh, embassy, the Saudi Arabian Turkish embassy, and it looks like Saudi Arabia uh, operatives connected to the current regime did it. Uh, they all said no, but they were all planning to send executives there. So today, with, with Mnuchin, Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary, bowing out, what sources are telling the Fox Business Network is that Wall Street right now is scrambling to determine whether to send anybody to this conference. Uh, oh, we so should... It's an interesting point you just mentioned there. So J.P. Morgan Chase might not send Jamie Dimon, or Jamie Dimon, I go, but his lieutenants would. A better example would have been Goldman Sachs. Goldman okay. Sachs CEO David Solomon was going to send Dina Powell, the former Tr sure, Trump administration sure. official, now back at Goldman Sachs. She, was, uh, she worked at Goldman in the past. And Sheila Patel, both Goldman executives were going to go. Now the question is up to, uh, up to Solomon, and Solomon, uh, Goldman is not commenting right now, is whether they will send executives. We should point out that we, Citigroup, again, sending, thinking about, and it was kind of interesting how they were going to do this. Obviously, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, all these firms have massive business ties to the Saudi kingdom. They did not want to blow that up. So what they did was they split the difference. They said, no CEOs, but we're going to send lower-level people. So what we know right now is that Citi and Goldman, if you're going to say right now, they have made no change in their in their determination post Mnuchin whether to send their le their lower level executives at mm. this conference. Uh, we might find out something from them later in the day. They're reviewing this, the, the matter possibly, or definitely from what we understand. We should point out Fox Business is also reviewing whether we will attend and cover the matter. That is still uh, up for review. But you know, we should put calls into BlackRock, yeah, Morgan Stanley, Wells Fargo, Goldman, Citi, Bank of America. They will not say whether they were going to attend. They're going to attend this thing next week uh, in light of Mnuchin pulling out. Um, and so what we understand is that they're all in meetings right now trying to figure it out. Do they go or not? I think if they had their druthers, what they would really hope for is that, um, that this thing gets canceled somehow. Uh, we should point out that Blackstone, yeah, it just might. It Blackstone just might. run by Steve Schwartzman, is not sending anybody. We've gotten word from them that they are not sending anybody. So they're, they're at least playing it pretty well, straight. Could I ask you this? And if, if it's, the wagons are circling around the crown prince, and let's say we succeed in getting his father, King Salman, to say, all right, son, you have to step aside. Mm -hmm. now, a lot of you won't be satisfied with that because you just can't take him out of the power mix and replace him like a prince and a Pez dispenser with another brother of one of the 13 well no 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 that that is that enough to satisfy demands that the guy could be a murderer and that he planned a journalist's death um would that be enough in other words would there still be a taint on saudi arabia um listen i think there's going to be an investigation and all that unless that's what they say we'll see what that's all i mean i can you trust a saudi arabian investigation to themselves like you know, right. <laughs> you really go there. Me looking into um, eating habits. Just yeah. go back to some of the things that we were reporting over the last couple of days, that, that Pompeo was going to come out with, with a statement imminently, like, like we said this Tuesday. Do we know whether he had video or audio? Well, that's the whole thing. Think about what happened. He wanted at first to come out, from what I understand, with the Saudis to basically say, here's the evidence, you know, to put some distance between the evidence and the royal family. If you notice what he did, he just came out today and said, you know, we're going to, you know, we're, we're, we're still looking at the matter. And then at the same time, Mnuchin came out and said he's not attending. So whatever they found within those two days is not good for the, for the current regime, for, for um, MBS, bin, what, Mohammed bin Salman. Salman. So, <laughs> so that all of a sudden now, it, 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 he's, he went back to the president side stuff like they've got something here Whether they wanted video to, or heard audio yeah, they wanted to do that it. prompted Mnuchin they told Mnuchin you're not going I'm telling you they're 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 the way they wanted this to work out was that it would it would be a joint press conference right. where they could say here's the daylight you know the royal family didn't do this rogue and it hasn't happened so this is going to put a lot of pressure on MBS and the royal family. I hate it when we call him MBS. He's not a Mercedes model. <laughs> I know. Like we used to, who was that other guy? Uh, uh, Dominique Strauss Khan. Remember the yeah. guy that was, got in trouble with? He got no. exonerated. But he, we used to call him DSK. DSK. I remember that.
that's it. He called um, you uh, and, and C. Yeah, NC. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, CG. He's the best. He really is the best.